Hello everybody, welcome to my Soul Silver Pokemon Soul Silver walkthrough. Um, I'm going to be facing the gym. So if you're a Pokemon trainer, please do not worry about these dudes. They do not fight. I already ran into this guy, so he won't tell me anything. But this this girl just loves Magnemite for some reason. They don't fight. They just like talk, giggle. You know how capable they are. You are from the lighthouse. It's time you showed that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. So they really just do nothing but talk. So she starts off with a Magnemite, and I guess for alligator isn't the best match up but I want to keep him in here so I can fight the Steelix with him but uh here's the thing Steelix is a very retarded you cannot even try to attack that thing with physical attacks or else you will die so that's why I'm going to have Tosti Locos come in my Hispanic alligator that talks and walks Okay, so she has two Magnemites, and I think it'd be cool if she had like a Caesar or something. But they're both level 30, so I don't see why at least one of them is a Magneton. So yeah, I'm just going to surf that. Probably going to get hit with a Thunderbolt, but you know these Magnemites, man. If you don't, they love to use Thunder Wave. They're always going to use Thunder Wave, and there's Thunder Wave. So yeah. I kind of trained my Pokemon. And, uh... I can I didn't show you the Safari Zone video because uh, you kind of know where that is, and basically it's just me training my Pokemon. You could tell the big level difference from my last one. So, oh no, that's not good. Well, since I'm evolved, it probably won't kill, but it'll do a lot of damage. And oh my god, I forgot, I am all out of full heals, and I am almost all out of super potions. I mean, hyper potions. So no, but that surf decides to kill, not the other one. Uh, if this Toasty Locos dies, I'm screwed. My Hispanic alligator. And I figure there's no point in using a super potion, because she's just going to use another Thunderbolt and waste my time, since I'm already paralyzed. So yeah, he goes down, but I'm just going to use a revive on that if I even have a revive, which I think I do. I don't care, I'll improvise for now. Set up a light screen with this, which is what she should have, but I guess not. So I'm going to just set up a light screen real quick. I'm going to take a couple hits and try to heal up this for all good. I really don't care if she paralyzes Rasta, I'm not really going to use him for that. Just so you know, Rasta means flash in Japanese. I don't really know Japanese, though. I just got it from the YouTube video, so I'm going to use this. And actually, it comes out, I need to use my status healers, and I have two revives, so that's good. Sonic Boom, that can be annoying. But luckily, it doesn't really do much going to use a, uh, well, I have a lot of hyper potions, so I don't want to waste my time with freaking potions. So, yeah. Dusty is back in this game, and I'm going to use my Magneton to take hits, basically. But I don't think I'm going to go back out to Frog Alligator, so I don't want him to die, and I'm just going to traumatize this Pokemon. I have traumatized a lot of Pokemon in this game with this Needle Queen. It's very mean. So yeah, another Sonic Boom. I don't really care. I'm just going to dig. This has to kill in one shot because if it doesn't, I am going to kill myself. Sonic Boom missed and my light screen wore off, which really sucks. But actually it doesn't because Steelix doesn't know a special attack. Two surfs and the stream should be over. I'll see. Okay, so here comes the ceiling. I will repeat. Do not try. That's why I'm going to switch. Do not even try to hit it with a physical attack. You will die. That's why I have surf over here. And it's such a big level jump, it's so frustrating. It's level 35, and her two others are 30. Okay, so... 
two surfs and the thing should be over. I'll see. Yeah, it has Iron Tail, which is pretty cool. But Iron Tail won't really kill in this case. I, I don't see what it's going to do to save itself. And thank God that's actually a good thing because if it, that Citrus Berry wasn't there, so you'd have to use a Hyper Potion, and that would just really annoy me. And it's going to use a Sandstorm, and this battle is going to be over with one more click of a button. Well, actually, a couple more click of a button because it has to announce everything that's going on over here. No, it won't. Uh, yeah. So, after this battle, I'm just going to show you everything you get and the retarded stuff that she'll say. And, yeah. So, yay, I beat the Speed Licks and I get a lot of experience points. Hold it! Okay, well done. I guess so. Yeah, she's just gonna say some stupid stuff, and I get my mineral badge, which is pretty awesome, and yes. And for alligators, just standing in the background, eating stuff out of my berries. Um, please take this here. Yes, that's Iron Tail, and Iron Tail is pretty cool, because it's just like, I don't know, cool. So, yep. Iron Tail... Oh, and before I leave this video, I want to show you one more thing. The weeping bell really sucked, so I decided to switch it for this Taro so over here, and it's really cool. And its attack stat so high at 86, and it has pretty good moves. I'm just going to show you how to teach it Iron Tail real quick. This is like Pokemon for dummies, if you don't know how to teach your Pokemon uh a TM, so I'm just gonna go over here and Iron Tail right there. And use it's a pretty good move, but it has some accuracy trouble at times. And I'm just gonna teach it Taros. Get rid of the special attacks if you did teach your Taros any special attacks because he doesn't have high special attack. I had to learn that the hard way. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do that and I'll be heading out here. So, thanks for watching this video. Bye.